Maybe yeah. maybe I can uh, talk first yeah, about yeah. an issue yes. oh. that is important for me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, maybe some of you remember when I did my first uh, conference, I talked about that I am coming from development and that's an important uh, topic for me. Yeah. So I just came back uh, a few weeks ago from uh, Germany and I heard that the football presidents of your country are asking to get the permission of 12, I think, foreigners in the club to play. Yeah. Um, so first I thought this is a joke. Uh, if I would go with this information to my friends in Germany, they will say you are fooling me. So uh, first I want to say that one of the most important responsibilities of the presidents of football in this country or in any country is developing the football and not destroying. Um, if you are asking for 12 players from outside to play in your team, you just have to think about what are you getting? The best players in Africa, they go to Europe. So then already the best players are gone. The second best, they will go probably to Asia. So also the second best are gone. The third best might go to bigger leagues in Africa itself. So also these guys are gone. Who is coming to Rwanda at the moment? It's not a famous league, it's nothing. So, there are coming players, and I'm watching now your league for quite a while. And I'm watching these players from abroad. Most of them, you can say nearly 90% of them, are for sure not better, better than your own players. Now just imagine you get now 12 players in your team. Team A has 10, uh, 12 foreign players and Team B has 10 foreign players. And Team B will lose against Team A. So what is the president doing? He's sending out these 12 and then he's buying new 12. And all the coaches normally are under pressure to put these 12 players because the presidents are paying a lot of money for them on the field so your own players will nearly get it's already difficult to get a chance uh, will nearly get no chance um, this is something i don't know who is coming to this idea i was asking the federation to reduce from last season from five players down to three because then they cannot spend a lot of money to buy really three good players where your own players can learn something. Now they want 12 who are just taking away the seats. I watched or I went to most of the training fields of your clubs. You go there, you break your legs because they are so bad. The equipment is bad. So no player with a little bit of sense is going to a club like that where he knows when I do the training, I break my legs. First, they have to develop their, their training grounds. And second, they have to develop their youth. That's their responsibility. I don't know what they are thinking about. They are just doing it for their own pleasure. Then they are on the wrong seats. If I see that things are going this way, for sure I'm here at the wrong place, because it's not what I want. This is a short-term thinking, and I'm trying to build up something here. And sooner or later there is no national player anymore playing in your league. So I'm, just, I'm coming from Germany just for the national matches, because I have not to, to watch the league anymore. And then just think about this field beside Pele Stadium. This was built out of FIFA money, what is for development. And what I heard is, 
youth teams nearly get no chance because the responsible people from the city are giving it to veteran teams. So this is how foot development at the moment is running in your country. And this is killing your football. Okay, so now you can ask me about the next match. Yes. The, the team are independent. Why are you saying that? Why I'm saying that? Because, as I said, your football presidents, including our president of the federation, have a duty to develop and think about development of your football. And that's not, that has nothing to do with, de with development, I tell you. We don't have to discuss. Now you know my opinion. Now you know my opinion. Now let's talk about the other topic. Uh, have you talked this to the uh, National Technical Director? Nobody is asking me. I have talked this before and I said it's a stupid thing to increase the number. You have to reduce it down to three. This is okay. Get very good players you have to pay money for, and then your own players can learn something from these players. But getting fourth class uh, outside players, where your own players are nearly the same level, they learn nothing. They learn nothing. They just take seats. Okay, so. Uh, you are preparing uh, two games. How is the, how is, uh, the preparation now? Um, since yesterday, I have a very good feeling because uh, the training yesterday, you could see things are coming back in the mind. It's always the same situation in the national team. Players are out for a long time. Um, they are losing things we have already uh, done. But uh, okay, now it's our fourth camp. So as more camps you make, as more things somehow stay, and as quicker you make the next step forward. So uh, I am confident. Even our opponent teams are quite difficult. Have you some information about Libya and Nigeria? Um, <laughs> yes, Libya is uh, quite difficult because nobody really knows. Um, do they get players from abroad or not? Um, we, we have information about the last matches they did and also the, the squad of the last matches and um, we are preparing us through videos as every coach is doing and uh, the situation with Nigeria is different. Uh, maybe you know we have another German coach now playing against each other. Um, uh, for that we know he, uh, this team is a strong team only because of uh, the world-class players they have. So uh, we are also preparing us for that, but at the moment the focus is on, uh, on Libya. Uh, you have 80% uh, of the squad in Rwanda, some of them you will meet them with uh, uh, to Tripoli. Uh, are you okay with that? Uh, I don't have 80%. Uh, I have uh, now the, the last days some of our international players are also have joined the team, uh, but there are still a, a number of players that are joining us uh, on the way to Libya. So uh, we have one or two training sessions, uh, uh, but I hope the players who are now with us here doing the camp, um, they are uh, getting things in a way that uh, the others can fit in uh, more or less easily. Yes. Maybe we let's jump a little bit to the next game against Nigeria. The idea of playing at Amal Stadium, the first international game of the national team, uh, what does it mean for you and the, the players right now? I think it's, uh, it's a great thing. Uh, if you look to the stadium, it's a beautiful stadium. Now we have a good training field uh, and uh, we are hoping that the stadium is packed and this, uh, the supporters uh, or the fans are supporting us. Uh, this is giving us a boost for sure. And uh, we, are, we are very excited uh, about this match. And okay, as I said, we will have a very strong team against us. So uh, you never know how it will be, but for sure we will give our best. Of course, if you look in your squad, uh, we didn't see some players like uh, Mohajiri, like uh, um, uh, York, like Watu Abdul. 
Uh, how is the problem with these players? Uh, how is it? Okay, I'm normally more or less answering this question uh, every camp. So uh, this camp is as the camps before. It's uh, in one way it's for the matches that are coming up, yes. but it's also for the perspective uh, of uh, Chan and Sekafa. Uh, and uh, now if I go to Muhachi, uh, I know Muhachi. Um, he is not changing. If I watch him, he is doing what he is always doing, and I know him. I had him now in uh, two camps. Um, I also want to try other local pay players on these positions. We have Kevin, now I have invited another one. I don't put out Kevin, so I had to put out uh, Muhachi to also see the other guy uh, showing up in, uh, in the group. Uh, this doesn't mean that Muhachi is now out of, uh, of the team. Uh, it's, uh, it's someone who I really know and who is doing a good job when he is with us. But uh, I can't invite, uh, or if I invite somebody else, I have to take out somebody because the number will get too big. Uh, so it's nothing bad about uh, Muhachi to say. As I understand, he didn't match with your philosophy of playing. <sighs> I think we have talked in one of our meetings that Muhachi is a very special player uh, uh, who somehow needs the team around him is doing or is covering topics he is not working on in 100%. Uh, so in that way, uh, that's why I said I know him and uh, if he would play, um, I would have to give other instructions to other players because they have to do uh, things a little bit different. Um, so that's um, it's it's not bad, it's not good. But I just wanted to give another person also the chance to show up because um, sooner or later you have to build also for the future. Huh? What about others? Y'all can uh, Abdul. Okay, um, let's talk about Abdul. I, I was in contact with Abdul and I was explaining him the situation, also the situation with Isaac, for example. Uh, these are players, unfortunately, that ha have left the continent. Uh, so they are absolutely out for Sikafa and for uh, Chan uh, matches. Um, and, and therefore, now it is difficult um, putting them in because I think at the moment there is no reason to change our center defense. Uh, and if I don't change my center defense at the moment, then the second part are, are players that can play in Sikafa and in Chan tournament to fill up. And I also don't think that, the, that our younger players here from the league uh, don't deserve uh, this, uh, to play or to, to join the national team. Again? Calling the uh, prayers in the first days of the league was not hard for you. Um, okay, you, you, you see players also in the preparation games. Uh, um, uh, my, uh, my assistant coaches are watching matches. One of my assistant coaches is a, a league coach by, by himself. So I think I get enough information uh, to make a good judgment about who is uh, coming to the camp and uh, who is maybe coming next time. Mm. Coach, coach. Lastly, is it true that you talked with the Benin coach about how to beat Nigeria? Because we read it in the Nigeria newspapers. <laughs> um, sure, sure. Uh, we are, we have, I, I can't say we are friends, but we know each other personally for a long time. Uh, through our work uh, also developed in other countries and um, uh, we said if it's possible uh, sh we will help each other so he will for example get uh, information about our match when we play against Syria uh, he will give me informations because he is playing against Nigeria um, uh, unfortunately now we are playing against a German coach, uh, so two German coaches are working against the other German coach. Uh, it's somehow a funny situation, um, 
but okay, I think this is a this is normal, yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, so it's a it, it's a win-win situation for both coaches. And if we are both qualifying, then it's the best what can happen. Uh, uh, course, thank you, best. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Going to start no, no, you can. You can. I have time. You uh, you can yeah, ask. You can start, ask. Yeah. Going to start, uh, uh, what? One more. One moment. Uh, one on the right. Yes. What? Last time we saw Jaja uh, Kuzera, but it wasn't on the first call up. Can we expect a surprise like that this time? Quisera. Georgia. No, he is there is another one, who, another, one another, another another name on the list that is who new. Is That's with the the who is not on the list. Uh, you're talking about which player now? I don't no, know. No, he was the giving an example of Georgia. Like yes. we saw him, he was not on the list. This time we are going to see another one. Uh, a new surprise. player, a surprise. Georgia is coming. It was an oh, example. It was an example. Apart, apart from this, this, this group, this is what you have called apart up. from this list. Yeah. Can we expect another name? Okay, there, there was another guy invited uh, as a new player. Um, but he had to, um, or we, we, he had a call with me and he said uh, his wife is getting twins. Uh, and the birth is uh, at our first match, uh, and uh, so and it, at the moment there are complications. Uh, so he doesn't really know. And I said, okay, if first if you can't come to the first match, only to come for the second match, and then it's not sure because maybe it's a compli complication and your mind is somewhere else. I said, okay, better you stay at home for for this camp, and uh, we look for the next. Camp. Who is he? Uh, I, uh, I don't have the name. Coach, <laughs> <laughs> you are going to start uh, uh, Afcon uh, qualifiers. Can you uh, assure Rondon that uh, the objective for these qualifiers is to get a ticket for Afcon? It's almost 20, 20 years. Rwanda didn't play there. What, what answer you are expecting? Uh, I will tell you what that you, the bosses have asked uh, you to. Uh, the boss is always asking uh, win matches. Huh? So and and, and and I I am also uh, going to Libya and we want to win the match in Libya. Uh, and uh, uh, if we, as I said, if you win all the matches, you will qualify, and sooner or later you will, will, will be world champion. Huh? So uh, the question is, how how big is the chance that uh, it will be like that? And for that you have to work hard, and that's what we are doing. Thank you, Kosh, and thank good you. luck. Yeah, okay, thank you.